Hello everyone and welcome back to my Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hopes Let's Play. The last time we uh I don't I think I think I only did base camp stuff. I I don't remember. <laughs> it's it's fascinating what you can forget in just one night. Like I literally recorded this yesterday and um I already forgot. But what I did not forget is that as you can see I already did all the training off screen. So um all my units are up and ready especially Shamir since we're gonna play as her in this episode but that also unlocked a few um support conversations and of course we're gonna want to watch those first before we go damn there's a support already nice right I remember because then I switched them off the training I, I just kept them as long as they needed to get their support I remember I dare say I pulled off quite the impressive strategy in our previous battle. One should expect nothing less of me, Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. <laughs> it's a delightful surprise to see you here, sir. What wonderful peals of laughter you have. There is truly none other quite so suited for such splendid displays as yourself. Uh, Constance? Is something the matter? No, not at all. I just feel awful that someone as wonderful as you must turn their attention on a wretch such as I. All right, what is the matter here? This is all quite unlike you. You almost always announce yourself to me with an exultant smile and some cutting jibe. But this... Oh, now that I think of it, I believe the same thing happened to her before. I thought she might be ill, but perhaps it is not so simple as all that? I fear my words and actions, totally unsuited as they were to one of my status, have incurred your ire. Please inform me of what my punishment is to be, and I shall humbly accept whatever is to come. What is this nonsense you speak of, Constance? You yourself said you were a noble woman at heart, did you not? I must ask you to refrain from taunting me so. I am but a simple commoner now. A mere foolish being, whose only calling is to obediently follow any order you give me. Enough! Return yourself to normal at once! You sought to re-establish House Nouvelle! What has become of your ambition? Your... pluck? That is kind of you to say. It pains me so to deny your gracious words. But it is unthinkable that someone so lowly as I could make real the nonsensical dream of re-establishing House Nouvelle. Constance, this saddens me greatly. To think you would change so fundamentally once you fell into despair after your dream was shattered. I must do something to help you. I cannot imagine causing you such a grave inconvenience, sir. I will hear none of it. I do as I please. Oh, how kind you are. But your help will not bring me happiness. Though audacious and selfish as this request may be, I ask you simply to watch over me. Hmm, it seems I must reevaluate my perception of you yet again. I once said there were things I must settle with you, but now is not the time for competition. Correct. For no matter what sort of contest I find myself pitted in, you will always emerge victorious. Well then. Though you have rejected me once, pray allow me to say this. Nothing is impossible for Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. So when you decide to continue pursuing your dream and need my assistance, do let me know. <laughs> God damn it. That, that fucking theme, theme starting always gets me. But yeah, I was about to say this. <laughs> Isn't this literally <laughs> what I talked about in the last episode? I kind of remember, I was like, why isn't Constance telling her allies that she's, like, has two personalities? Like, I think about, like, uh, wouldn't it be, like, kind of weird for some people to, like, uh, meet her and then she's completely different at night than at day? So, yeah. <laughs> nice that we have a support conversation that's focused entirely on that. And I think that was really cute. I just, you know, I just wish it would have just cut at, at one point and then they met at night again and she would have just told him what what's her deal but oh well i don't know i think i think that was 
That was so cute. I like that. I like that one. That was a, that was a good support. And Shamir. And Happy. Yeah. Got that from training as well. <laughs> oh, it's Shammy. Ah, Happy. Strange. I didn't take you for the praying type. Good. I'm not. Thought so. Then what are you doing here? Just looking for some peace and quiet. This place seemed like the best option. Got it. Should I leave you be then? You're fine. I've had enough silence anyway. You don't strike me as the praying type either. What brings you here? Eh, same reason as you, I guess. I just wanted some more quiet. But I don't mind if you're here, Shammy. Alright, mind if I ask you something then? You just did. <laughs> Kidding. Go for it. It just occurred to me, but you used to live in Abyss, right? Under Garrig Mok? Did you ever see a pagan altar or statue down there? Ah, you mean that big hunk of metal with the giant wings? Yeah, it's pretty hard to miss. Hold on, you know about Abyss? Did you go down there when you were a knight? No, before that. Have you heard of the Dagda and Bridget War? After my side lost to the Empire, I was stranded in Fodlan. Somehow I wound up in Abyss. Soon after I started living there, I ran into trouble with someone from the church. Fortunately, Rhea noticed me, and I got hired by the Knights of Saros. Hmm, let me guess. You got into it with Elfie, didn't you? Elfie? The name sounds familiar, but I'm not sure. Interesting. Anyway, sorry. I kind of interrupted you there. Don't worry about it. So, that pagan statue... It's actually of a Dagdan deity. No kidding. You're from Dagda, right? Yes. I think it was the God of Fate. I always wondered how it ended up there. No clue. It's probably been there forever. You know, I remember there was this one foreigner who prayed to it all the time. Like, really prayed. She must have been from Dagda too. Most likely. It will have to remain a mystery for now. Thanks, Happy. Is there anything you want to ask me? What? Really? Hmm, let's see. That was that was nice. Interested to see what the A support uh, is gonna give me. God damn it. I will never be over the fact that we can that we um that some supports don't have conversations is what I went meant to say. But really badly. Okay. But yeah, we can go to the war map now. Everyone's train. Ooh. Oh, yeah, indeed. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, where's she gonna go? <laughs> uh hmm. I mean, I can't. I can't just. For I ain't home. <laughs> the old magic said to be pending Eastern land. Okay. So hmm 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 hmm. Yeah, just, yeah, just do this first. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm stupid. I can't do this first. I have to do this first. Anyway, I was like, yeah, let's do the side mission first. But yeah, I can. Defeat the Cavalier in the eleva elevation the deck alley is captured. Okay. So obviously, I'm not going to place myself, who is level 43. <laughs> I'm going to play as uh, Shamir. Shamir. Let's move. And... I mean, I, s I said I wanted to. Do... Oh. When when did he get that? Oh, I remember. <laughs> okay, so the thing is, I remember that I made him a grappler, a grappler again off screen. And um, I just trained the brigand like in the in the training ground. And I gave everyone their weapon just by like optimizing by pressing Y, which was really annoying for the magic users because I have one inverted tome that is like one of my strongest weapons right now and um, stronger than most of my uh, the weapons my magic users have. But since it's an inverted tome, it uses the strength stat, so it's worse for like all my mages, but it still would um, always like recommend the freaking inverted tome. But yeah. <laughs> um... Um, I mean, I could just... Why not? 
But yeah, I, I think I I just pressed Y on him and I never really I never really I mean Or did he just switch himself? Because that shouldn't have happened, right? I mean look at this. It allows the crest barrel to use eviscerate when rolling it. Kinda good uh Lord. Effective versus all. Oh damn. That 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 sounds insane. I should definitely Okay, then I definitely did not use optimize because if I used optimize, then I probably would have equipped that right. Raining blow. Eh. Go with Yeah, let's go with that. Hmm. Now I feel the need to kind of forge it because that's only 40 and I have way better gauntlets as you can see. Way better gauntlets. I, I'm, I'm gonna keep it for now, it's gonna be fine. Uh, okay, I said I wanted to use both for some more. I mean, I could just use all the characters she has to support with, just to be um, efficient about that. Okay, Lawrence and, and Manuela Who, me? are fine. motivated. What's the plan? Uh, wait. Right, I had to do this. Oh, stupid. Uh, you. Yep. Of course, me. Anybody else? No. I don't want to take myself. That sounds stupid out of context, but I, I don't. I'm already level 43. I know you can reset the level, but I don't want to do that. Why would I do that? I did not uh, see what the recommended level for the mission is, so. That's a... that's a whoops. Uh... I didn't want to take Monica with me more. I mean, Marianne's also level 29. Uh... I'm not sure. For Lady Edelgard. Yeah, I mean... We, 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 we can handle, we can handle, though. we're gonna be, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine, just go ahead and fight. Keep your eyes open. Anyone comes near, turn them into a pin cushion. We can surmount any obstacle if we work together. Well, okay, defeat the cavalry and the ally. I'm on it. No charge. I mean, I think I can just just leave it to me. I will gladly handle this. Uh, I'm on it. No. I will gladly handle this. Thirteen. Okay, so you, you do this. Orders received. And you go on it. do this. Let's just leave it to me. Yeah, I'm gonna. Mm. Here goes. Yet. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna run run along. I should have maybe. Uh, wait, no, no. Uh, okay, delay strike with the end uh, to increase the critical hit rate. All right. I don't know what means at the right time though. I mean that was at apparently the right time. Because that turned it wise. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't I don't know what exactly I mean with the right time, but I guess I don't need to bother with it. I should I should bother with kills though. Do, do, do. Uh, do this. Do this. Whoa. Okay, that was cool. Enjoy your eternal sleep. I should, I should, that was that was really cool. Target captured. I like how the bishop just followed me. Like, don't they want to take my my territory? Why why did they follow me? Even though that even near my territory. Oh. Yeah, that was that was not yeah. Eh, come on. Kill confirmed. Ouch. That's a big ouch. Eh. Bad, bad at archers again. I mean playing as Ignis was the others down. Playing as Ignis was fun. The, the one episode I got that. 
I only remember that because I just just rendered the episode before this one. <laughs> so, uh, well, I wasn't doing too bad on this one, but now I'm, I'm like bad again. <laughs> Uh, okay, he just ran away. Uh, hmm. I mean, whoa, 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 bro, bro. <laughs> Make it rain, ice. Enjoy your eternal sleep. Ding. <laughs> I like how they were just thrown around like a ragdoll. Whoa, out. There's. Mm. Okay, happy. Here goes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, that's so fighting. Oh, I'd be lost if I were to die here. That should do it. Oh yeah, I can do, can do this. Sorry. <laughs> should I use a combat arts once in a while. Let's keep it going. Can I put out the fire? Like, if I had like ice magic or something like that. Could I do that? Location secure. But technically, maybe, possibly. Oh, the paladin. Uh, hello? I, I definitely pressed X there, I don't know. Whoa! And I did not press X to doubt, but I did actually press X to do the special attack, but... She didn't... She, she didn't... She didn't want to do it. She was like, nah, man. Okay, Monica... Monica, Monica. Why, why are you in trouble? There's literally no... There's literally nobody there. I'm on it. No charge. Okay, you can... I mean, technically, Monica could do this. I will gladly handle this. Uh, or not? Monica, Orders why are you so bad? I'm on it. No charge. Just go for this. Whoa! Why am I almost dead? By the way. Uh, watching Enjoy HP, am I right? I need to. I definitely need to heal. Uh, heal. Stay vigilant. You really gonna waste plaudits on a lowly mercenary? Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Dude, a messenger appeared. Oh wait, the messenger is really right behind me. You're okay. So I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> just spam special attack and everyone dies. Enjoy your eternal sleep. I should probably level up my character. Let's go. Like for, for the uh side of the yeah. I'm, I'm on that, I'm on that. Ouch. We'd like yeah. to help. I think that's, that's nice and all. Have the fortress knight to reach the destination. Okay. Whoa, I need to... I need to get... Uh. We won't lose, no matter what. I need to do this. Oh god. Messenger? There we are. I, I really need to level up my characters for the for, for the missions. Good enough. Because uh yeah. I was kind of like just um oh. Okay, so Monica you can fight the Here goes. Okay, that's happy, that's Monica, okay. Why is why is her her thing crossed out? I don't get it. Um Oh. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh. Let's fight together. You, you defend? And I hope... Oh, Balthus, you're not... Mm. I really want to take the territory, though. I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. I don't need to take the territory. Never mind. I just go back. Hell. I just go. Excellent work. Da -da -da. Let's do this. I like how there's so much special tech like flying around. So I can just really spam it. <laughs> Enjoy your eternal sleep. Okay, uh any more um, any more people? Okay. Looks like that's it for us. Uh that's that's waste. Authors, why are you I will gladly handle this. Sure. Orders received. I mean, that's sending their numbers. I just hope. I might as well just go home. I just hope both of will just finish this really quickly. Uh, time wise. 
Come on. I mean, I feel bad if I don't at least go up hell, but I don't know if that's a good idea or not. So I'm just gonna. Okay, then I ride the back alley. We did that. Sure that's nice and all. Defenses. I mean, it's nice that they're defending the back alley, but they're, all, they're almost dead, like uh, themselves. So I don't, I don't know how effective that is. God damn it, Balthus! Why are you taking so long? Whoa, uh. How did they do this special attack? Like this, this tornado attack? Wow. I'm just gonna do this. Because there's even more special attack lying right over there, so why not? Enjoy your eternal sleep. Enjoy your eternal sleep! Mmm, sleep. Sleep is good. This'll make things easier. I wish you got some strength. Come here. What can I Not say? gonna lie, Loki. Loki, we should you, you got that. Got that strength. We're not losing to okay. anyone! Okay, that's actually not too bad. Wait, uh 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 where's the you? Let's give it a shot. Defeat the cow and, and then the victory. You. Okay, so it's actually not good that I sent my. Uh, not bad. Well, it was a bit bad that I sent my people right all the way over here. Because I, I want to do this in this direction. I mean, I. I don't even need to care. I have all the. I have all the chaos I need. So. Enjoy it's just about time. I want to kill the other guys while I'm at it too. Uh, and he's dead. <laughs> and he is dead. Keep your distance next time. That's looking nice though, both of us. That's, that's cool. I don't know, do they actually use their combat arts? Probably not. I mean, the AI, obviously. S rank, let's go. With another level characters. <laughs> Just doing my job. Doom, doom. I mean, Shamir was in, uh, in level so five, I guess. This should come in handy. Or in tome. That's, that's okay. Come on. Oh yeah. I was like, how much money did I earn? Nothing, because, uh, well, she doesn't have to spoil. I mean, it's so right. I'm not really short on money. So, and I got a little bit of money. And strategy resources. And a cutscene. We've finished laying out where the troops will be positioned, Claude. But, uh, are you sure about this? Am I sure about what? This isn't even remotely like a standard attack formation. It's like you're going out of your way to limit casualties. Not true. The moment the enemy drops their guard, we'll swarm them like a pack of bees. And if they don't drop their guard? Then I guess we'll just sit here making angry faces at each other. Okay, come on. This strategy is not helpful. Look, just by being here, we're drastically reducing the number of Kingdom soldiers the Imperial Army has to deal with, right? Which means we don't have to kick our troops into action until the Empire has marched further north. Once they're positioned to seize Blathed territory, that's when we'll move. And if it all goes wrong, the losses could have catastrophic consequences for the future of the Alliance. I'm not used to you being so worried about the big picture, Hilda. You've grown. I wasn't going to stay a kid forever, you know. Apparently not. I'm impressed. Look, Hilda, I promise you, your fears are misplaced this time. The Empire's already compensated us for any potential losses, and will continue to do so. You don't think I would have signed that fancy pact if they weren't taking care of us, right? Sure, but... Are they good for their word? Because I have doubts about that. I want to believe the pact will hold. I really do. But they strike me as folks who won't think twice about sticking an axe between your shoulders if the situation calls for it. Fortunately, I can be pretty ruthless myself when it suits me. If I don't like something the Empire is doing, it might even be me who ends up breaking the pact. If that's supposed to make me feel better, it is absolutely not working. Easy, easy. I'm just throwing out a what-if here. 
just promise that you'll always have my back, even when things look their worst, all right? I need you. Oh, fine. But only because it's you. What was I saying about the Alliance betraying us, or us betraying the Alliance? A report, Your Majesty. The Imperial Army marches on Western Fargus. Just when we'd brought peace back to the area, too. We should get ready to provide aid at once. Why does Sylvain look like this? <sighs> I, I just can't get over it. Rodrig has already been dispatched to Mateus, along with all the soldiers I can currently spare. I mean, that Dimitri looks like a rat, that's just his character, but Sylvain, please, why? Why would you do this? And I've sent Annette and Gustav to the Baron's side. Though if it's for better or worse, it's yet to be seen. I don't doubt we'd all ride to the rescue if we could. But that's clearly not possible given the situation. Agreed. Now that Claude's joined up with the enemy, we can't risk doing anything foolish. If we move our soldiers even a breath away from the Northeast, the Alliance will be all over us. All we can do now is divide our forces to keep the enemy in check and meet their attacks as they come. We never should have let this happen in the first place. But who could have seen the Empire and Alliance forming such a union? Bor, are you seriously going to just stand by and watch? They'll overrun us if we don't stem the tide. Though it smacks of desperation, I'm told the Western Front has enlisted the services of Gerald's mercenaries. They're the same band that carried the battle at Magdred Way. So I hope we can make good use of them again. Is this really the plan? Burn through mercenaries while we hole up here? Do try not to be so grim. The Empire has pushed rapid reforms on the land over these last few years. Not everyone was happy to have such changes thrust upon them, and that includes their new friends in the Alliance. The Empire is leaning over the Kingdom with such greed that they might yet trip over their own feet. Do you think there will be revolts? I'm certainly not going to plan my strategy around it, but there have been whispers, yes. The old ways must die. With that, I agree. But shove that down the people's throats, and you risk breaking the very land you're trying to rule. Yes. We've grappled for years with the aftermath of trying to enact reform. Change is a painful process. But rushed change will set the region to rot from the inside out. I wonder why they're so intent on doing this the quick and dirty way. It's difficult to say. But... Perhaps were things different, we might have found some common ground, some harmonious way forward. But I've lost too many I care about to this war. Ingrid, chief among them. <sighs> when I think about what they fought for, what they died for, there can be no turning back. I mean, he's got a point, but like... Our motivation is probably still the Slitherers. I mean, if we don't, like, I mean, well, well not probably, but it's still the Slitherers. I mean, I know Edelgard is pretty, like, let's say, uh, eager to, like, bring her vision to the land. And, uh, yeah, that, that is true. That is true. But, um, Part of that is that the Slitherers are still like running around the place. Your contact, uh, your contact from the battalion guild is here. Right. If you need more troops, I have some ready right now. You might hire one of these battalions. Mm. Oh, neither should be weak. I'll leave you to them. If they are not strong enough, I'll train them up myself. Ooh, Bridget mercenaries or Albanian vagabond. I mean, I already have Bridget. I mean, Bridget is probably. Or a bow. Okay, those are probably gonna be sword people. I don't know what vagabonds are gonna be. Are they gonna be like ex people? So, I mean, I don't. I already have the Bridget Hunters, I guess. I just go with these. Why not? Albanian vagabonds. Because why the heck not? You stop by a store in town that has all kinds of items for sale. Huh. Welcome, we're currently having a sale. Are those to your liking? I mean, I don't need it, but sure. Where is... Oh, I was about to say, where's all my building materials? Up there. And over there. Ooh. And I get some seals. Nice. Uh, must have the falling class. Sword must. I mean, I do. 
Uh, let's go to the seventh spot first. Some supportive civilians have offered to f furnish you with. Right. Uh, we're rooting for you. If there's anything you would like to, you can uh, use. Lavish Boomer, Elite Trainer. Yes, I can upgrade the training grass. That's good. That's, that's very good. That's basically what I'm gonna do now. I mean, we're already at 30 minutes, so. We're sadly not gonna do the. Like. Uh, side wished anyway in this part, so we can just upgrade the training grounds. We can do that. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Uh, master class, let's go. I mean, let me know if I may be of further service. And I mean, don't mind if I do, right? Don't don't mind if I. Time to work you into shape. Just, just saying. This one. Ding, ding. I, I, I mean, I, should I go with Edelgard? I mean, wait, she can't even go. Why can't she go to her master classes? Oh, because she hasn't mastered this. Oh, I mean, I guess I'm just gonna. I mean, I could also just <laughs> be like, no, I can't even do that. No, can't even be the death knight. Damn, damn. Okay, I'm gonna go with myself. I'm gonna be. Selfish and prioritized by myself. I like how it um how it went to Mortal 7 for us. I'm like, no, I want my special class. I want to be cool. Look at this. Well, this will take some getting used to. Hell yeah. Uh oh wait, I have don't, don't I have more options now? I mean, okay, I have dual will deploy. Use the attack range. Sword plus epic sword. Uh. I mean, I. I still want appraisal. I also want. I also want death blow. <laughs> There's too much stuff I want. Help! I need to upgrade the tactics academy to have more slots. I mean, I. With the awakening, a piece of the month. Okay, that's actually that's nice. That them. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at that off screen. But yeah, Can't I'm wait to see I'm cool now. But <laughs> we're not gonna see that until the probably until the um. Wait, have, haven't I talked to you yet? Oh. Uh, I was supposed to say, we're probably not gonna see that until the end of the chapter mission because then I am forced to play as, um, or take myself along and then I can just play as my, my, myself. What's up? Oh, hey, what's up? My father? Yeah, he was here to, to, uh, to talk to Edelgard. But he's gone back uh, east now. He was kind of interested in you, too. Oh. Nice. See, that's good that I talked to everyone at the start of the chapter first because otherwise we would have missed that. Like, um, conference. But yeah, I'm just gonna end the part right here where I started it so that you all, that you guys think you're stuck in the time loop. Um, yes. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the part. That's been it for today, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye!